Full fine tuning of large language models is the gold standard for specializing your model for certain tasks or data. But what if there was a less expensive and more efficient way to accomplish the same thing? Let's talk today about a technique called prompt tuning and how it works. Now the words prompt tuning may sound familiar because we have on the one hand the aforementioned fine tuning and on the other hand we have a technique that you may have used called prompt engineering. Well, meet those in the middle, you have prompt tuning. Now to explain how prompt tuning works, let's start with a form of prompt engineering called few shot learning. In few shot learning, when a user provides their input, we are going to prepend that with a list of examples for that particular task. Maybe it's uh, sentiment analysis or summarization. And we're going to feed all of that into our model and we're gonna get an output that is okay. Prompt tuning turns all of this on its head and instead we're gonna use our examples in a training phase. So we're going to start with our example input and we're gonna put something in front of it called a tunable soft prompt. Now, a, a tunable soft prompt, get this, is a bunch of random numbers. Kind of crazy. <laughs> but we're gonna feed that into our model and the output that we're gonna get the first time, probably not so good. But what we can do is we can compare that output with our reference example output and using something called a loss function and back propagation, we can iterate through all of our examples <laughs> multiple times and we're gonna get what is an ideal tunable soft prompt. Now that tunable soft prompt then can be used with any user input <laughs> for that task. And when we feed it into the model, we're gonna get an output that is pretty good and is actually comparable with full fine tuning. Now this tunable soft prompt is still a bunch of embeddings, it's a bunch of numbers, you can't really read it, but what it does is it provides a path, if you will, through your model based on your training data. Pretty wild stuff if you ask me. So in the end, prompt tuning provides a more cost-effective and more efficient way to customize your model without changing that underlying model, which is required in full fine tuning, yet still gives you similar performance. So how do you think you might use prompt tuning for your generative AI use cases? Let me know in the comments below.